In this lesson, we'll walk you through how to set up a bracket order using TWS Mosaic. We'll define the objective of the bracket order type, show you how to create a bracket order in TWS Mosaic, show you where you can locate bracket orders within the activity panel. Bracket orders are designed to help limit your loss and lock in a profit by bracketing an order with two opposite side orders. These two opposing child orders become active when the parent order executes, but only one of them can be triggered, and if it does, the other is immediately cancelled. When you create a bracket order to buy, for example, this chart displays these resulting three orders. A parent buy order is bracketed by a high side limit order to sell, a profit taker, and a low side stop order aiming to sell in order to limit open losses. Meanwhile, this other chart shows a parent sell order, which is bracketed by a high side stop order to buy, hoping to limit open losses, and a low side limit order to buy, a profit taker. Using TWS Mosaic, let's set up an example using a buy order. In this illustration, let's assume you want to pay a specific price to buy shares in a company. Let's say it's the tech sector giant Amazon. To limit any losses, this order should include a stop loss to sell the position at a specific price below the entry price, as well as a profit taking order should the share price rise to a predetermined level above the entry price. To create this, first set up your order to buy your shares using the order entry panel. Simply select the ticker, in this case AMZN for Amazon, and click the buy button. Next, enter the number of shares you want to purchase in the quantity field, let's say 300, and then from the order type drop down menu, select LMT. Next, set the limit price at which you are prepared to buy shares, and then change the time in force field as needed. We'll now want to turn this into a bracket order, and we can do this by first clicking on the advanced button, which will display additional order entry options. Selecting Attach will reveal the bracket functionality, and by checking the bracket box, the profit taker and stop loss fields will automatically become checked off, with the order entry panel now displaying the add on plus bracket. You'll now want to input your desired price for the profit taker limit order, as well as the price for your stop limit sell order, and the time in force for each entry as necessary. To complete your order, review your details and click Submit when ready. Remember, untriggered GTC orders are automatically cancelled by the system at the end of the calendar quarter following the one in which they were originally entered. You'll now see the details of your order in the order confirmation window, which shows the order type and each of the three related orders. If all of these details reflect what you intended, click Transmit to send your orders to the exchange. When the parent order is submitted to the exchange, all three orders are displayed in the activity panel. In the key column, note that the parent order is assigned a round number, and that related child orders maintain the group number, and are then numbered sequentially to indicate which parent they belong to. For the child sell stop order, note that the stop value is also displayed as the trigger price in the auxiliary price column. Creating bracket orders may help longer term investors better plan their trades since they can enter both potential exit prices at the time they enter a parent order. The bracket order can be equally useful for traders with a short term perspective who act upon liquidity or technical indicators and want to better manage their risk. Now that you know how to create a bracket order in Mosaic, let's turn our attention to the next lesson on order types in Traders Academy.